everyone. Welcome to Medicine for the Soul. I'm Sarah. Today's third trimester practice is a full body flow. You'll need all your usual props plus uh, a chair or you can set your mat up near a coffee table or a couch. Let's get started. Welcome to your third trimester full body flow. This is the last in the prenatal series, so it means you are almost there. Um, we'll begin on our mats um, in this position with our blocks underneath our knees, folded blanket underneath, bringing your sits bones right to the edge so we can have a nice upright pelvis. And let's close our eyes and just get settled in for a moment here. Maybe rolling your shoulders a few times, back and down, imagining that string pulling the crown of your head towards the ceiling. And taking a few conscious breaths in and out through the nose. Maybe you wanna place one hand on your heart, one hand on your baby. Maybe you want to kind of take your arms and wrap them around your belly and maybe lifting up a little bit, just taking a little bit of that pressure off. And we'll just stay here for a moment. Maybe you want to send a loving message down to your baby. Maybe some words of encouragement maybe an eviction notice if you're overdue. <laughs> Just taking that moment to connect. And we'll take one more breath here. And you can open your eyes. We'll stay seated like this. We'll bring our arms out to the side and do some wrist rolls in one direction and the opposite direction. And then you can shake them out and bring your right arm extended out in front, fingertips pointing towards the ceiling and just pull back. Nice wrist and hand stretch. and the opposite way. And shake it out. Extend your left arm out in front, same thing. And the opposite way. And shake it out and actually remove your blocks from underneath your knees and bring them out in front of you. And we'll just place our hands on the blocks and fold forward or kind of just lean forward slightly just for a tiny bit of a deeper stretch, uh, nothing too crazy. If the um, position we started with is working for you, you can totally stay there as well. And one more breath. Coming back up to an upright position. We're going to grab our bolsters or cushion, pillow, whatever you've got. And we're gonna be using it the long way. And keep your left leg bent in close to your body and place your bent right leg on top of your prop here. And I guess we did still need our blocks. <laughs> Bringing your blocks um, back out in front of you and just placing your hands on, on your blocks. Nothing too crazy. Remembering that we may feel more flexible than we actually are. 
during pregnancy. And you can also sit upright like this. So you've got options. And relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Relax your jaw. One more breath here. And coming back to an upright position, switching sides. Again, bringing your hands to your blocks or staying upright. I definitely have one side that is more flexible than the other. <laughs> totally normal. One more breath here and come back to an upright position. You can set your bolster aside and you, we will need our blocks again, but we'll put them off to the side for now. And you can keep your blanket here if it's helpful for your knees. I'm going to be coming on to all fours, except instead of coming on to our hands, we're going to be coming on to our forearms. So hips over your knees, and then we're going to bring our forearms down to the mat, about shoulder width distance apart, pushing off of the mat so we're still filling that space between our shoulder blades. And we're going to just rock back and forth here, uh, giving yourself a chance to kind of find that rhythm with your breath and your movement while also helping to relax your pelvic floor, take some pressure off and open up the hips. Keep reminding yourself to relax your jaw and your forehead. That was very helpful to me during labor with my daughter, actually. I had someone that kept reminding me to relax my forehead, relax your forehead. And it was very helpful, actually. Very simple, but effective. Let's do one more breath here. And coming back to an upright position, we're going to um, use our chair, couch, coffee table, whatever you've got handy now. And we're still on our knees, so if you do need that blanket, you can um, keep it under your knees or you can go ahead and grab it. And you're going to place your elbows and part of your arm onto the edge here. I'm going to pull this onto my mat a little bit. Okay. That's better. <laughs> so it's going to look like this. You're going to clasp your hands behind your head and kind of get so that your hips are over your knees and you can feel, you'll know when you're in the right position because it'll feel really good, like uh, taking pressure off of your um, back and you'll feel a nice deep stretch here. And just breathe. Maybe sway your hips side to side.
We'll stay here for one more breath. And gently come back to your knees and setting this off to the side. We're gonna come into a child's pose. So take your knees nice and wide. And you can grab your blocks if you're kind of at this point where you can't really get into a child's pose very well. Um, you can grab your blocks and just come onto your forearms and rest your head on your forearms. Still, you know, visualizing your tailbone, reaching down to the mat. Still taking those nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. And after your next exhale, we'll lift our forehead off of our arms, place your blocks to the side, walk your hands forward, bring your knees a little close together, coming onto all fours briefly, just long enough to inhale and tuck your toes, and exhale, push up and back into downward facing dog. We'll just stay here for two breaths. One, two, and you can um, step forward into a forward fold or you can walk your hands back into a forward fold, making sure you've got enough room for baby here, nice and wide, and then slowly rise up into Tadasana. And if you've traveled to the back of your mat, step on up to uh, the front of your mat and we're going to inhale, arms out in front, and exhale into chair pose, giving yourself a nice wide-legged chair pose. Sending your seat back, taking a deep breath here. And on your next exhale, we're coming back up into Tadasana. Inhale, back into chair pose. And exhale. And bringing your right hand or forearm to your right thigh, depending on kind of how mobile you are right now. Um, we're going to inhale, left arm up. And gaze up to the left. Nice open twist. And exhale, bringing your left hand down to your left thigh. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, back down to your thigh. Inhale, arms out in front. And exhale, coming back to Tadasana. And now let's heel or face the long, <laughs> the long edge of your mat first, and then heel toe your feet out. So you're in kind of a nice wide stance. Whatever feels comfortable, don't push it too far. Um, and then pointing your toes towards the um, corners of your mat. And just maybe you wanna hang out here in a, a higher uh, stance than you normally would. Maybe pushing your knees back. And we'll just stay here and breathe. Maybe you want to engage your ujjayi breath. And then we'll inhale. And exhale, coming back up, trying to squeeze our heels together. And then inhale, arms out to the side, relaxing. And exhale. We'll do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale. And now come back down into your comfortable squat. And we'll just kind of rock side to side here. You can cradle your baby, 
Maybe you want to cradle and lift up a little bit, uh, relieve some pressure. Everything's very heavy in third trimester. <laughs> And now, if your blocks are handy, you can grab those. If you need a second, you can pause and go grab them. And so, from our rocking position, we're going to come to a neutral position and straighten out our legs and gently fold forward, bringing our hands onto our blocks Nice long straight spine still and maybe here you want to give a little micro bend to your knees and kind of shift your hips back and forth or side to side, excuse me. We'll stay here for one more breath. Come back to center, heel toe, your feet closer together, and then coming down onto your knees gently. We're going to come into toes pose. So we're exhaling back onto our heels. Toes are tucked. You can place um, a bolster or a pillow um, between your seat and your heels if you would like, if that's more um, accessible to you. And then we're gonna close our eyes. Roll your shoulders back and down. Maybe bringing one hand to your heart, one hand to your baby. Maybe engaging your ujjayi breath or practicing your low hum, your low moan with your breath. Mm. Let's take one more breath here. And after your next exhale, you can flutter your eyes open. Lean forward, coming onto your hands and tap your toes out. And then we're gonna tuck our toes again. Inhale, exhale, back into downward facing dog. And options here to pedal your feet out or to bring your feet close together and bring your heels over to one side and the other. Or what might be helpful at this stage in your pregnancy is to bring your feet wide and inhale, bend the knees, exhale, extend. Let's do one more breath here. And coming back on 
to your knees, getting yourself into a comfortable seated position. Maybe you wanna sit on your blanket again. Sitting nice and tall, we're gonna inhale, right arm up. Exhale, reach over to the left, and maybe your left hand grabs your right, um, oh my goodness, knee. <laughs> or even your, um, your right shin, depending on what's accessible to you right now. And coming back to center on an exhale. We'll inhale, left arm up. Exhale over to the right. And again, right hand grabbing your left knee or even your left shin. And coming back to center on an exhale. We're going to briefly come onto our backs. Um, so if you do start to feel maybe like a little lightheaded, you can roll on over to your left side. So bringing your arms down to your mat, opening your um, collarbone here, firmly planting your feet on the mat, knees bent. We're gonna just lift up. We're not necessarily coming into a bridge because we're not really gonna hold it, but we're just lifting our hips off of the mat. So let's take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, lift up off of the mat, inhale. And exhale, come down to the mat. Inhale and exhale, pushing up. This doesn't need to look like anything. Um, you don't need to have your lift any certain height. This is for you. So if this feels good, that's awesome. If it doesn't, um, you don't need to keep doing it or push up as high. Let's just do um, one more wherever you're at. And coming back down to the mat and rolling over onto your left side, grabbing your bolster or prop to put between your knees. You can use your blanket for a pillow or your arm for a pillow. And we're just gonna hang out here for a, a moment. And you can also put your blanket underneath your belly to kind of lift up a little bit. And you can close your eyes and while we're here we're going to practice our visualization of our ideal birth and i am going to read a very short passage from um pima chaudron it doesn't um directly have anything to do with labor or birth but i think it is very relevant It's called Nothing is Fixed. As human beings, we are as impermanent as everything else is. Every cell in the body is continuously changing. Thoughts and emotions rise and fall away unceasingly. When we're thinking that we're competent or that we're hopeless, what are we basing it on? On this fleeting moment? On yesterday's success or failure? We cling to a fixed idea of who we are and it cripples us. Nothing and no one is fixed. And I just find that so relevant to uh, labor and birth um, because a moment can stretch into a lifetime and it is hard to ever imagine yourself out of that moment, but you will emerge from that moment. Um, and so continue to visualize your ideal birth from start to finish. And please stay in this sideline position or any other position that is um, comfortable for you for your Shavasana. And thank you so much for joining me on this journey or letting me join you on this journey. And I will see you hopefully in the postpartum.